Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy 2018. Oh my goodness, time has just flown by. Thank you all so very much for your dear support during this year. My goodness, it's been such a transformational period for us all. Um, thank you always for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions. Love and light to all. And as we move into this um, January meeting, okay, early January meeting, um, I'm going to be doing things a little differently from here on out. I'm going to try it this month and we'll see how, how it goes. But I'm going to basically separate the whole month. I'm going to do the entire month long reading and separate it into four parts. Okay, so, so it's going to be sort of like a quarter system rather than let's say um, just sort of if you were to say it's as a semester. Okay, two semesters instead of the beginning and the end of the month. I'm going to be just kind of sectioning it off into four parts. So four quarters. So the first quarter will be from January 1st to the 7th. The second will be from January 8th to the 14th. January 15th to the 21st will be the third quarter and the fourth will be the 22nd to the 31st. Okay. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to post the videos in separate quarters as well, where, um, the, uh, first quarter from the first to the seventh will be in this video right here, right now. And um, so it'll it'll span approximately that period of time. All right. And the last two quarters, okay, so for those of you who have been following and know how to how I've kind of been doing things for the past few months with the mid-month readings, um, right, I used to have it the 15th to the 31st as paid. Um, which you could order via alchemynew.com, but the way, again, that I'll be doing it, similar protocol, is from the 15th to the 31st will be paid, so those two quarters will be um, free to purchase on the website, Alchemy and View. Okay, so thank you so very much, all of you, for tuning in. Love and light to you on this journey forward, and let's get right into the beginning of January for you, Leo. Um, again, the first of the seventh is what we'll be looking at right here, right now. Let's see what comes through for you, Leo. Okay. Ace of Swords. And I'm filming this on the 5th of January. So um, we'll heed that. Okay, but it is it is um, spanning the time from the 1st to the 7th. So right now we are, uh, the moon is currently in Virgo. Okay, and it was just in your sign on the 3rd and the 4th. And um, this is EST. Okay, in, the, in the United States. Uh, so we'll heed that. Okay, but um, let's see here. What is coming through for you, Leo? Number of cards have just popped out. Okay, ooh. I'm hearing slapstick. Slapping, slapping it on. Justice card here. This is Libra's card in the Major Arcana. You so far have three cards that speak to air energy, three swords element um, cards. You have the three of swords in reverse, um, beautiful, mirroring justice with the two of wands upright, right beneath the three of swords in reverse, the ten of cups upright, the nine of cups upright, nine, ten, a sequence of water energy and the sun of wands upright, right at the base of this stack. Okay, now, uh, Leo Leo, I'm getting here that there is, I'm hearing a retraction from a situation that did not, I'm hearing long standing that did not serve you. In terms of what you have been, I'm hearing um, dying to say, dying to communicate, the desire to make things clear, and I'm hearing just put things in their place in a certain way. Um, is 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 now moving forward in 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 a in a in a I'm hearing in a profound way and there's no going about it I'm getting and we did have the full moon in Cancer on the first as we just stepped right into the 2018 year there uh, seems to be a very clear direction that you're moving forward with specifically as it pertains to matters of um, I'm hearing harmonics and relationships. So relationships could be a focus, absolutely. A culmination that is emotional, okay, being a focus as well. And I'm getting that you have some sort of direction here with how you want things to move. It's not just like, well, this doesn't work, it doesn't work for me, but there is this sort of budding of energy that moves you through this period of time and through, I'm hearing whatever this chrysalis may have been, that I'm getting you have been clear on in a personal way, but 
perhaps you have officially communicated some aspect of it here uh, or made something very clear, very clear for you and specifically others or just strategically in your mind. Okay, now I'm seeing clearing though, beautiful. I want to pull um, a sequence of cards here, beginning from the first, reaching until the seventh, and um, we'll get a sort of sense of the progression of energies. And of course, energy is fluid, so it may permeate a little before the first, a little after the seventh. Um, here, let's pull the cards in and see how they, how they move for you through this week. Scorpio's card, the death card here in reverse, just at the tail end of this week. Okay, but you lead it out with the two of cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy. There is transformation, and it's by way of what um, ideologies you set very clearly in place. I'm seeing around the third, okay. This was around the time where the moon was in your sign, Leo, and I'm hearing Libra again for you. You have here the Son of Swords, um, could be the Libra energy that we are seeing. Okay, I'm hearing turnaround though. There's been the sort of requirement almost for, for major turnaround, and it, there may have been a lot involved, and I'm hearing as well a lot at stake in a certain way. You have here though at the base of the stack, the Son of Wands, that wanted to make its appearance, very much so. I'm getting that this is your own energy as it pertains to the sort of reign that you're taking with this chapter in your life. And I'm getting that you are taking matters into your own hands, which is beautiful to see, given that there is transformational energies here. And you started the year off, it's so beautiful, Leo, with this adherence to the principle that emotional dissatisfaction will no longer linger. And that has been your guiding force. That has been the, 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 the um, I'm hearing the momentum for you, okay? The desire, that's it. What, what emotionally dissatisfies me, I'm moving on from it. And I'm, and I'm making very clear the ideologies that, that have accompanied how I have worked through certain series of changes and perhaps certain relationships, okay? But there's a complete clearing of the slate here. Now, uh, you have here the Daughter of Pentacles in reverse, right in your theme, overlaying the Six of Wands in reverse, and getting that you are preparing for moving on in a way that is grounded, in a way that also um, uh, uh, speaks to a, uh, uh, it's like, okay, Whatever transformation takes place, whatever transformation has taken place, whatever has become very clear, okay, in a certain way is to move on into the future, all right, is to move on into the future and to be instilled as a practice, okay, and I'm getting that your home life, your, I'm also hearing love life, I'm getting also sentimentalism, the emotions, okay, at play, speak, I'm hearing for you, speak volumes in your work. And there perhaps is this overlap between work and love and play and so on and so forth. Now, there is an absolute transformation, Leo, too. And I'm seeing it as, um, let's see, on about around the 6th. Again, this is general reading, so it may permeate differently for everyone um, in terms of timing specifically as well. Uh, there, And I'm also always, always back to mention that you may want to check out your rising ascending or moon sign as well as oftentimes there may be messages there and if let's say you have a lot of a certain archetype in your chart let's say you have a stellium in capricorn then you may want to watch capricorn as well given that that energy uh, archetype is at play for you strongly now you there is i'm seeing yet again towards the tail end a total and hearing resurfacing of the way that we make use practical use of the relationship between our emotions and our finances okay beautiful now i'm seeing that we are 
edging into the sort of practicalism here um, just into the second week. So let's jump right into that and see what's going on there. All right, Leo. So again, I'm going to um, assess from the 8th to the 14th energies of the month in this next video. Um, so feel free to click that. All right. Bye, Leo.